Hey, it's Sienna from The Curious Chicks, and if you're bold enough to attempt the four-day hike to Machu Picchu like me, you're gonna wanna watch this video to see what items should be on your packing list. Now, I wanna point out that I went in the month of September, but you just never know what might happen at any time of the year, so it's always better to be more prepared than not. In terms of clothing, from head to toe, you will need a sun hat for the sunny days, a beanie to keep your head warm, a bug head net, if you don't like bugs like me and you don't want them flying in your face, just use one of these. Sunglasses, prescription glasses, if you need them like me, two to three sports bras for the ladies, unless you got some serious man boobs, three face layers. I used a combination of a wool base layer, a Uniqlo heat tech base layer, and Patagonia has a Capoline base layer. I just tried them all out for fun. Two long sleeve hiking shirts with SPF protection. This will protect you from the bugs and the sun. One to two regular shirts for PJs or just in case. Four pairs of undies. Okay, we wanna stay completely fresh. A warm zip up layer, like a hoodie or even a vest a down feather jacket to go on top of all of your other layers, form-fitting base layer pants to keep you warm at night or as PJs, two pairs of hiking pants, you can wear each pair twice, gloves, poncho, ponchos are a lot easier to throw over your clothes when it's raining and quick to take off when it stops, a pair of non-thong sandals. These are good for when you get to camp at night and you want to air at your feet and you can wear your socks with them because it does get cold. Two to four pairs of hiking socks, depending on how stinky your feet get. One or two pairs of silk sock liners. You can wear these under your hiking socks to get some extra warmth. One pair of waterproof hiking boots or shoes. You just never know what time of the year it's gonna rain so it's always better to be safe than sorry. Last but not least, an extra pair of shoelaces because if your shoelaces break, that would really suck and you don't want that to happen. In terms of gear, you're gonna need a music player and headphones. You can listen to music that inspires you or pumps you up to get you to keep going. A camera. You can also use a phone instead and that can also double as your music player. A headlamp. And extra batteries just in case. A backpack and a rain cover. I hired a half porter and so everything else I needed for the day fit in this bag and this is a 38 liter and it was pretty good for me. A sleeping bag and a sleeping pad. Sleeping pad goes under your sleeping bag so you have a little bit of extra cushion. You can choose to rent these from your tour company but they might be a little bit dirty so you might want to bring your own. A pair of walking sticks. You're definitely going to need these. I opted to rent these from the tour company because these are rather large to be bringing with you on your trip. An inflatable pillow. A water bladder. This pouch fits in your backpack so you have easy access to water. A small water bottle. This is good for anything other than water such as electrolyte powder or drink. A pair of binoculars for an up close view of nature. Personal care and comfort items will include a pair of earplugs for the noisy neighbors in the next tent. It's also important to keep them in a container so that they don't get lost and you keep them clean. Safety pins. These are good for wardrobe malfunctions and they can help you take out splinters. Bug spray. Something for itchy bug bite relief. Fix vapor rub, tiger bomb, cortisone, any should work. Body wipes and facial wipes. Keeps you fresh, especially the medical grade kind. Baby wipes. These are for your number twos. Sunblock. Chapstick with sunblock. Snacks. Yeah! If your tour company doesn't already provide it. Cocoa leaves. For a boost of energy. Of course these aren't real cocoa leaves, that would be legal. We were told that baking soda or charcoal helps to accelerate and activate it for maximum effectiveness. Anti-diarrhea and altitude sickness medication. Basic first aid stuff like band-aids or alcohol wipes. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. And floss. A quick dry towel. Moleskin or anti-friction block stick. 
Moleskin is a soft adhesive fabric that provides a buffer between your blister and your shoe. This band-aid friction block sticks applies directly on your skin to help prevent the formation of blisters. A plastic bag for your trash and maybe your dirty clothes. Electrolyte, powder, or tablets. Tissue packs. Toilet paper. Very important. Deodorant. A must. Hand sanitizer. A woman's standing pee funnel. This comes in handy when you need a little bit of extra privacy because some parts of the trail are wide open and you have nowhere to hide. Last but not least, heat warmers. Did you get all that? Well, not to worry because I've included a full list in the video description below. I hope you find these items to be helpful and necessary. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I don't think I packed as minimally as some people, but I don't feel like I overpacked either. Luckily, I didn't need all of these items, but I did use a good amount, which made for a successful journey. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks.